Today we're going to be walking you through an introduction to the new cPanel WordPress Toolkit Deluxe Features. The WordPress Toolkit includes everything you need to take control of your WordPress websites. Learn about plugin and theme set management, staging and cloning functionality, mass automatic and smart updates, advanced security features. A2 Hosting is offering the new Deluxe Package for free on managed turbo plans. Okay, so you've just created your new hosting account at A2 Hosting and you've logged in to find your WordPress site and WordPress toolkit. I'd like to walk you through some of the features that you'll see first coming in to, to WordPress toolkit and looking at your site. So we have my site here called logging-cabin.dev and you can see there's a slew of different features that will allow you to control certain aspects of the site. But first things first, let's say you want to get into WordPress and start writing on your blog or start working on the site itself. This login button here, right below the thumbnail in the bottom left, is going to be your easy access one click to get into the WordPress admin area. And that's where everything that happens on the actual site is going to take place. The rest of WordPress Toolkit is really built around managing the site from more of a project perspective. So we have things such as File Manager, where you can look at all of the files that you have available. We have Copy Data, which will allow you to copy data from one site to another. And we'll talk about that later when we talk about cloning. We have Clone, which is basically creating a copy of that site as a new site under your uh, interface here. And then we have backups and restores, which as they kind of sound like, you can save a backup of your site. This can be downloaded, it could be moved, uh, but it allows you to keep that record of your site at a certain place and time to then restore at a later date if you ever need to. Some of the other features that we have are uh, plugins and theme management. So you can see for my site that was just created, I have the Elementor plugin enabled. I could also enable some of these other ones, and by clicking install here, I could go and find additional plugins within the WordPress community that can be enabled. So with a quick search, I could look for a plugin such as the Gutenberg, and then you can find the Gutenberg editor. Themes works very similar. We can see I have the Materialis theme enabled right now, which is what is powering this thumbnail and is why this thumbnail looks the way it does. It's an actual screenshot of your site. Uh, and I can find more themes by clicking the install button and I can remove themes using this interface. The last tab here is databases. Uh, if you're new to, to web development or you've never really worked with the database, the great news is you really don't have to moving forward. Um, with WordPress Toolkit, when it creates your website, it's also creating this database and it's using these random kind of names for your database and your database username just so the system can integrate into it. But really, there's nothing that you have to control or manage from that aspect. So, getting into the center section of the, the site here, we can see there's a status column and that's going to provide us with the status of our site. So with WordPress it's always important to make sure that your site is kept up to date in both the version of WordPress that it has as well as the plugins and themes that it's using. The reason for this is the WordPress community is very active um, but so are people that are trying to maliciously attack websites. So if there's ever an issue or if there's a, a way that someone is able to uh, crack the, the security of a website, these plugins, themes, and WordPress core, as we refer to it, get updated very quickly. But it's very important that you make sure that those updates are always applied to your site when they become available. That'll keep your site safe. The next step, though, is actually running a security check, which is included here in WordPress Toolkit. And this is just a predefined list of um, security measures that you can put into place to protect your site from outside attackers. And you know it's, it's okay if some of these things aren't familiar to you. This little notice icon or the, the eye here, the information, will provide you a little bit more detail on what's actually happening so that you can make that decision for yourself. Uh, once you decide that you're comfortable making these updates, you can select the ones you'd like to apply 
or go ahead and select all of them and click secure here at the top. We'll see that WordPress Toolkit pops up a little notification window in the background here and that's going to track the progress of these changes happening to my site. Uh, since that's already running, I can click exit and we can let that run in the background and now it is complete. The second column here is tools and they're a bit more uh, advanced for when you're needing to change how your site is working with the outside world or the outside web. So search engine indexing is just like it sounds. It indexes your site so that it can be found in a search engine. Uh, debugging is a tool that you can use. Uh, it's also provided within the WordPress suite itself that allows you to essentially track issues that are happening with your site so that you can catch them and then apply those fixes. Uh, password protection allows you to set basically a password for your site. So we'll take a look at what that looks like. Uh, sorry, username and password for your site. And then that is required to ever visit the site. So this is a good tool to use if you're working on your site and it's currently not ready for production viewers. You can put a password on it so that only you or anyone with the password can view it. Takeover WP Cron is just a, a way to save some runtime for your site. Uh, WP Cron is something that runs routinely and this allows WordPress Toolkit to just run it as necessary to make sure that those resources are being allocated correctly and your site stays uh, productive. And lastly, Hotlink Protection. This is a fun one. Uh, Hotlink Protection prevents other websites from using your images. So uh, if anyone were to come to your website and right click your image to get the image location or the image URL and then link to it from a different site, Hotlink protection would prevent them from being able to do that. So it can, it can keep your images safe. And then the last part of kind of this whole uh, section on keeping your site up to date and running is check WordPress integrity. Uh, this is basically a way to check to see if your site, has, your site files have ever been infected by malware. So it's an important thing in that whole ecosystem of keeping your site active, keeping it online. We can run a verify checksums report and WordPress Toolkit will run through these different checkpoints and make sure that there is no malware detected within your WordPress site's files. Thanks for watching. Visit us today at a2hosting.com. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact our sales and support teams.